collection exclusive for the spring uh, up here at the Gardner Museum. I've never actually been, I've been here to the museum, but not at this floor. It's a beautiful venue, and I'm having the mimosa. A mimosa, just a little bit, and just uh, taking a look at some of the collection here. So let's walk around just a little bit. The installation portrays the creation of a conscious, exclusive dress sourced from the shorelines and waterways. Plastic waste is recycled, turned into the chiffon fabric. This is what we're talking about just behind me here. Well, this is what Karen was just wearing. We're seeing it's, it's very Midsummer's Night, like a dream, very fairy. Yeah, well, actually, where we're standing here, if you want to shoot a little bit this way, oh, yeah, we're standing sure. in the center of the sea. Yeah, these are some okay. of the images they were inspired by. Um, also, when we pan over here, we have a book by um, Gerhard Richter, which is one of the artists they were also inspired by in creating the collection. And um, the colors of the nature and flowers. Yes. You see some behind the scenes pictures and then some of the really fun accessories. Oh, that's so cool that they were able to see from start to finish, like the conception, like just how. Exactly. And then also on the table we have, this is the first time ever that we've done um, a fragrance. And I don't know how many of you have children, but when I was, um, when, I, when I read the material about what H&M was doing here, I was moved and felt privileged to be asked to take part because I have three children and just seeing that in one campaign they hope to eliminate 550,000 pounds of trash. That moved me. Young, strong, and firm, and everything. Yes, a young man, a Vision. I wear fat glasses for fashion. Don't hate me. I know people who wear glasses are hating me right now. Please don't hate me. <laughs> no. But it's a nice accessory. Sometimes it's just does. like this jacket adds needs something, to the whole look, right? Look, 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 bow, bow, boom, bow. You need something. Yes. Yes. something. Okay. We're at, uh, well, I'm at, you're not here, but I'm bringing you inside uh, Bro Communications. This is what your showroom? Carly, yeah. hiding at the wall over there. I see you. <laughs> and this is Kirsten. How are you? Hello. Excellent. Good, Good to see you. So um, I'm just looking at their spring collection and also Echo as well for Express. The spring collection for Express and also Echo, seeing what they have here at Brill. Because uh, I'm doing a shoot soon and wanted to do like a spring thing and focus on tropical trends and florals and that kind of thing. So we'll see what... What they're working with, exactly. we got. Okay, I'm just yeah. in a good. So yeah, let's see what we have here. Oh, I like this color. I don't know what it is, but I like this color. Oh, 
There's the bag rack in the air. Yeah, there must be about there. Oh. This look. Eagles pants too. Yes, yes. I'm gonna have to check this out. Cause I think I have a hat like this. I like it. Oh, and look at these off the shoulder crop tops here. tend to like really long we'll see if this is long enough it'll fit but okay so we're doing the shoot I'm doing the shoot on well tomorrow blah, blah, blah. and so I'm trying to get some pieces and you know obviously I want to be able to fashion uh, feature people um, from my background from Car uh, Caribbean descent African inspiration as well and so I found Omi Woods have you heard of that label and this is Ashley Alexis who's a creative director hey. founder everything person yeah, I do a lot, designer do a lot. <laughs> how are you I'm good how are you I'm awesome it's great to meet you and you just sort of are about to put out I know you're in Na the now magazine the summer yeah spring collection uh, yes the summer spring collection launched today last night actually and I'm in now um, today for a feature on sustainable fashion so exciting. I yeah. love that. I like the, the sustainability angle to all of this. And then obviously you use these impre in, impressive prints and you mm -hmm. have a connection with the people who are actually making your clothing. Yeah. So yeah. wicked. Yeah, I kind of transition more into sustainability. Like sustainability is this recipe where you can be um, low impact, so not have a huge inventory, you need to order local, you can be fair trade. So there's a number of different things that you can do. And so I'm working more to um, work with sustainable fabrics and dyes. So my transitions collections last year in August came out as using biodegradable dyes, um, and now I'm moving more into using actual fabrics that are sustainable. Oh, yeah. I thought you know what, random. I thought you were gonna be one of the models. I don't know why I was thinking <laughs> that you were the one girl. I don't know. Why. I, yeah, I never see you. I never yeah, see you. I kind of like so hiding. Thank you. She's gorgeous. I like what is wrong with her? <laughs> I like hiding, but I send the models out. I'm kind of camera shy, but I well, do. Well, you're on the camera now. Camera. So show me I'm some of the print, African print. I actually think it's really interesting because I went to my aunt's house for Easter. Yes. And she has like a little um, hibiscus tree growing. Yes. So like a picture by it. I love them. This so is how we learned in it. school about the stamen and all the different parts of the flower. They always so use the hibiscus. It was. It's just iconic. Yes, it's a beautiful, definitely. Beautiful, beautiful print. Um, and then this print is interesting. So it's African prints, but this a lot of the oh, prints nice. are actually from Indonesia and that yes. region because when the Dutch were colonizing that area, they yeah. went in there and they took their indigenous prints and they figured out a way to mechanize the process and they sold it to West Africans. The so the, what did you get. call it? That's where we get the African prints. But, but what is, what, is that the bat batik? It's like batiking, yeah. Batik, ah. So they would batik it. I heard and of that. So this one is called Java. So these are big full skirts. Yeah. Love it. And the waist is nice and small because that's always the issue with me, right? I want stuff that fits my waist. Yeah. But then it's not bunching up and all yeah. sorts of stuff on for, the, you know? Yeah, definitely for women of color, I find that that's the situation. We have different ratios than standard sizes. Yeah. So I always try to make, like, just put that into account when I'm designing definitely. certain things. Okay, I like this one already because, yes. you know, I like orange and pinks and purples. So I like this one. And it's off the shoulder? It's off the shoulder, yes, it is. Yes. And there's pockets. <gasps> yes. Pockets. Pockets. So there's that. So I love that there are so many other, you know, T-length dresses, but also yeah. the fuller ones. These yeah. great. This is another one that I like because it's like a wrap. Yeah, it's so a wrap mock dress. wrap. A mock wrap. Um, I find it sometimes hard to wrap a cotton because it's 100% cotton. It's not stretching these specific pieces. I see. Um, so I do a mock wrap with like some pleating and stuff. Oh, and love it. It's like it's nice a nice full skirt. Okay, that one is gonna need to be with me. It's going to need to hang out <laughs> with me. Sounds cool. cool. Show Sounds me cool. some of the other like the stuff from the new thing. So and this one's actually on the cover of now um, today and I'm experimenting with using stretch fabric. I like this. And this is a virgin polyester so I want to move into using recycled polyester made with plastic bottles. 
fun Where are you getting this anymore. from though? Just research. Research. Really, yeah? yeah, but people people are starting to use it more. Sustainability Definitely. is becoming more like normal. Conscious, conscious. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So okay. it's pretty good. And it's an infinity wrap, so you can wrap it and wear it in like so many different ways. It's pretty cool. Holler. Yeah. Judy, Judy rock that. Yeah. Huh? She wore this. Oh gosh, yeah, girl. Definitely. Yeah. It definitely is very figure flattering. I'll I put like a it. link. So you know the yeah, picture thank I'm talking you. I'm so excited. You guys are going to have to stay tuned to see what pieces I pulled for this sort of spring shoot that I'm doing with Jodi Ann. So awesome. Thank you. I'm going gonna, gonna to go do some talk a little. Some Time for another shoot. Hey guys. Yeah. What's up? With Jodi Ann. Come Saran. <laughs> Saran. This is my, one of my interns here hey today. <laughs> so we're doing, okay, spring summer trends. Yes. But I'm trying to incorporate some Caribbean designers and Caribbean touches, tropical touches. So this what I'm wearing is from Omi Woods. I'm gonna show you it in more detail. It's kind of oh, weird to just show you like that. I'm Ashley, I yes, know her. Yeah, yeah. Ashley. Yeah, I do. Ashley is awesome. Oh I yes. love her stuff. Love her stuff as well. So uh, we're shooting today. This is Bay Adelaide Center. It's cold. It's windy, but we're soldiers. Yes, we're gonna so push, we'll push through. through. <laughs> Location number two. Location number two. So okay, we're still still doing these shoots. I just told Jodi Ann and she was like, Why don't you like these shoots? Saran Jodi Ann here. <laughs> Saran. Um, not that I don't like it. It's just like how do people do this? How do people do photo shoots? It's just so much work, Jodi Ann. You know what? It takes time. <laughs> And patience. <laughs> My husband will tell you I lack patience. That's one thing I'm working on. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> but basically now I'm in a second outfit. You'll see all the details. This is sort of a safari dress here. Um, very springy, pink of course, because this is my color. And now this is sort of a, hey, we're just in, I'm at my office, all this is a breather space, not my office, but just getting stuff done, getting ish done looks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And we're trying to figure out flat lay. We're doing flat lay, yeah, right oh, now. Lord. We're doing good though, we're doing good. Making it work. All Making these progress. damn trends. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not trying to like follow trends, but like what could we do different? What's another layout we could do for like Instagram photos? What'll be the next thing that we invent? I don't know. Say, Interesting. Like, the box lay? It's gonna be like the video. It's gonna be video, really. It's video. It's gonna yeah. be video. What kind of video? Videos. What kind of... What kind of video? Okay, so there's boomerang where it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what about if we did like? Um, it's gonna be video flat lays for sure. Like video, like just showcasing like the story uh, of the flat lay and what each piece is. The story. Yeah. You heard story it here first. <laughs> video flat lay. We should do one. We should. Oh, crap balls. Do I don't know how crap to. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I don't well. swear, but I from time to time reference genitalia and here. random words. <laughs> but I try not to actually swear. Let's get to work doing. Let's get to the work. No!